Hello everyone, this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 7 tricks to get back storage on iCloud. A lot of these tricks you're going to find are pretty small, but when you combine them all together, you may end up getting back quite a bit of storage that you didn't even realize you were taking up. So of course to get access to the settings for this we're going to go into, in my case, my iPhone's settings. Of course you can do this on the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually go here where it says storage and backup. Now one of the things I've discovered that a lot of my clients don't realize is that when they start off with an older iPhone and then eventually upgrade to a newer one, they don't realize that the backup files for their old phone are still on the cloud. That is probably the biggest trick I can share here with you. So what you're going to do is from this screen, you're going to go into where it says manage storage. And you'll notice in this case that I have two devices that currently back up to the cloud. I have my iPad Air, which I got about a week ago, and my iPhone 5S. Now, if you go in here and you see old devices that you don't own anymore, you might as well delete them. So if you need to, in my case, I'll just go into my iPad. You tap on the device and just hit where it says delete backup. And you can see here in this case, I don't even have a lot of data on my iPad, but that's taking up 2.1 gigabytes, that right there would be quite a bit that I would get back. Now the next trick I want to show you um, is going to be mostly useful if you're using an iPhone, which I know a lot of our clients tend to use. I'm going to go into my iPhone backups, okay, and I want you to notice here where it says camera roll. Now I am very good at clearing out old photos off of my phone. Um, I don't actually buy a big phone. I don't get the 32 or 64 gigabyte. I usually get the 16. Um, I just, I'm very responsible with clearing out data after I'm done with it. But you'll notice here that the camera roll is 679 megabytes in my case. For a lot of you out there, it's going to be much, much more than that. So if you use iCloud, and if you have either a Mac that has iCloud turned on so that when you take a photo with your phone, that photo goes into iPhoto, as long as you're backing up your data on your Mac, there really is no need to back up the camera roll. Now, if you're on a PC, uh, the same thing is actually true as long as you're using the I, iCloud Control Center, uh, which will also give you the ability to do basically the same thing. Just make sure you're backing up the data for your computer. That way, if something happens to both devices, you still have access to it. So in my case, I'm going to just turn that off. Also, what you want to do is go through and look at the list of apps that have data on the cloud. For example, if you look at some of these here, Flack Player, Action Movie, Movie Looks, FX Guru, some of those we actually have future classes coming out on soon. But there's no real need for me to back up the data within those apps to the cloud. They're just kind of taking up unnecessary space. So you can go through this list and you'll also notice that it says show all apps. If I tap on that, you'll see just how many all here take up space on the cloud. Now some of them are really, really minimal. You know, if it's five megabytes, it's not going to do you a lot of good to get that back. But some of the larger ones, in this case Flack Player, you know, if that's 400 megabytes that frankly I could use elsewhere. So I'm just going to go through and turn off all of these. Good to go. Now the next trick I would like to show you, uh, we're going to go back a couple screens here. Okay, so we're now kind of on the main iCloud screen. Go into where it says Photos. And what I want you to check out, we've got a little delay, there we go. Uh, my Photo Stream, I would turn on. That's the ability so that when you turn on iPhoto on your Mac, for example, or again, PCs, if you have a Pictures folder, it'll back it up there too. Your photos are just going to automatically appear on your computer. There's no need to plug anything in. But these two options here, you really don't need, okay? So photo burst mode is when you are taking a photo, if you hold down the shutter, it'll take a, a whole burst of photos. A lot of times people, when they do that, it's an accident. They don't really need it. So I tend to just recommend turning that feature off. Also, photo sharing here, I'll turn that off myself, is when you take photos and you share them with friends through the cloud. A lot of times when people are sharing photos, through iCloud, it's temporary. They don't need to sit there and just take up space. So that's another trick that you can use to get back some storage. Next, we're going to go here into where it says Documents and Data. 
Okay. Now you'll notice you think documents. Of course, everyone's mind goes to pages and uh, numbers and Keynote. Well, there's other apps that also use data, and some of them you probably really don't care about. So, for example, Kayak. Okay, a app that's used for getting cheap hotel fare and airfare. Do I really care about that data being stored on the cloud? No. So you can go through whatever list of apps you have here and clear out that same data. Uh, in my case, you know, I'd probably clear out GarageBand and clear one receipt. In my case, I would probably uh, keep. It's a great app, by the way, if you don't have it. Uh, uses OCR technology so you can organize your receipts. Very, very cool. Now, the next trick is, once again, from the Manage Storage screen. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually go in and you're going to go to your device. I'll go into my iPhone once again. And this time what you're going to do is actually hit Delete Backup. And the reason why is whether you know it or not, iCloud stores old backups of that device. So all you need to do is tap where it says Delete Backup. And then once it's deleted it, you just go right back in and turn it back on. It'll do a fresh backup. It'll take a few minutes, so make sure your phone has good battery life. You know, preferably is plugged in, is connected to a wireless network. And you'll notice that you should get back at least 100 megabytes. That's what I got back. Uh, for a lot of you out there, you may get back significantly more. Okay, next one and finally is something you might not have even thought of. Now, if you're the kind of person who you live in one place, you don't really travel on business so much, or for that matter, don't travel a lot for pleasure, you might consider not backing up your iPhone or iPad to the cloud, especially in the case of an iPad, because usually an iPad is just kind of, it's an extension of what you do, but it doesn't have the kind of critical data that someone's going to have on an iPhone. So if you have a computer, and you're backing up that computer, which hopefully, of course, you are, do you really need to back up your phone to the cloud? Because if you have your computer at home and you drop your iPhone or your iPad, for example, in a puddle and it's fried, and you go into the Apple Store or wherever and buy a new one, the only thing you're going to gain from backing up to the cloud is the fact that right there in the store on their Wi-Fi, which is going to be probably jammed because so many people are also on it, it will bring back your data. Whereas otherwise, you just have to plug it into your computer and then iTunes would restore your data. So my point is, not everyone needs to back up to the cloud. Okay, There's usually certain things that you want to keep on the cloud. For example, of course you want to keep things like your contacts and your calendars on the cloud. Those don't take up a lot of space. But other things you may or may not really need. That's all, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you happen to be watching us on YouTube, we, of course, appreciate it if you click that little like button. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're notified of our videos the second they come out. And if you haven't already done so, check out our website. We're a completely free public service. We have members in over 165 countries. Uh, that website URL is pcclassesonline.com. That's all, everyone. Take care.